أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومواله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد القرآن وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين specifically in reference to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم we have not sent you O Muhammad except as a mercy unto all levels of existence Allah didn't say rahmatul lil muttaqin as a mercy to those who are pious rahmatul lil mu'minin a mercy to those who are believers rahmatul lil muslimin those who submit to Allah just as proclamation of faith no did he say rahmatul lil nas but rahmatul lil alamin in other words to whatever is Allah Allah is a rabb rasul was sent as a mercy and therefore we find this is reflected in so much of the narrations we receive about what the prophet said and description about him about what he did and how he interacted not only with people but also with creation as a whole and this is reflected specifically in an incident i want to narrate and relate here this evening documented in the sahih of imam muslim a, a group of companions of the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam were once on a journey with the prophet and he left them for a while and during his absence the the companions some of them saw a bird with uh, two little ones it's the babies or the birdlings as you can say and they they would they took the young ones away and the parents were playing with them or something and when the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam came back then he saw that the mother bird was frantic beating its wings circling above the air and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man faja'a hadhi biwaladi who has taken who has heard the feelings of this birds by taking away its little ones who has heard the feeling of this bird by taking away its little ones ruddu waladaha ilaiha return their little ones to the mother in other words he displayed a compassion feeling the uneasiness of the mother when perhaps they were just playing with the birds but separating it from his mother now this care and compassion for animals is an extension of humane characteristics this empathic reflection of a person is a reflection of the mercy of the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam human beings like these and those who emulate the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this they incur allah's pleasure but also gain allah's forgiveness and i want to narrate two incidences both documented in sahih bukhari and in sahih muslim in other words the highest degree of authenticity one of them is a man experienced tremendous thirst while walking on a journey and he found a well now sometimes used to have, for those who have been to india or parts of egypt and some of the areas which have rural um, areas you'll find there are wells where you can just Uh, you know you drop a um, a bucket and pull the water and some of them are big enough where you have stairways can go down and perhaps go fetch some water because it's quite deep so this person went down some of the stairs and got some water and drank from there and when he came up it says he found that there was a dog panting with thirst and then he thought to himself لقد بلغ هذا الكلب من العطش مثل الذي كان بلغ مني this dog is as thirsty as i was but has no access to the water so he had no container with which to give the dog the water so he took off his shoe and he scooped water from the well and came up and gave water to the dog and the hadith narrates فشكر الله له فغفر له Allah so much appreciated his deed of helping this dog out of his thirst that Allah forgave him all his sins. Another incident where Rasulullah also mentions was a woman of ill repute, a woman of ill repute. And she was passing by and took some water from the well, not the one that you climb down now, but in this case, some water from the well. and then she saw also an animal thirsty very thirsty and she thought the animal could die out of thirst so she also took 
some say her, her, her purse, some say her shoe, and scooped the water with that and gave it to the animal. And the hadith says, فَغُفِرَ لَهَا بِذَلِكَ Allah forgave her, whatever she was. Allah forgave her because of that act. The companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when they heard the Prophet narrate this to them, they asked, Ya Rasulullah, is there a reward for charity even for animals? If you are charitable and generous towards animals, is there even a reward for that? And the Rasul said, في كل كبد رطبة أجر for every being with a moist liver. In other words, for every living thing, there is reward for the charity that you bestow. One of the scholars of Islam said, Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawzi, rahimahullah, said, وَإِذَا كَانَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ قَدْ غَفَرَ لِمَنْ سَقَى كَلْبًا عَلَى شِدَّةِ ضَبْأَهُ فَكَيْفَ بِمَنْ سَقَى الْعَطَشْ وَأَجْبَعَ الْجَيَّاعُ وَكَسَ الْعُرَّاءُ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ He said, how? If Allah can forgive a person, who gave water to quench the thirst of a dog. He says, what do you think then is Allah's reflection, Allah's attitude, Allah's compassion, Allah's reward for the one saqal attaj, the one who gives water to the thirsty or feeds the one who's hungry or covers the one who has no clothes from among human beings and from, from those amongst your faith. If Allah can show this kind of mercy and that he forgives a person, Whatever their, their sins may have been, Allah forgave them for this act. How much more do you think Allah will reward a Muslim when he does this for fellow human beings and for fellow Muslims? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that very often we think of asking forgiveness, but we make istighfar in the masjid, which we ought to do, or at home, or in our salah, or in our adhkar. But also, as you can see from this, from these authentic ahadith, even showing kindness to animals, and more particularly those animals who may not have access to food or to water, and you are perchance their angel whom Allah sends as a test, and do we pass the test. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that we compassionate to each other, even to the rest of his creation. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah wa alaykum wa rahmatullah.